What if, in the vastness of the universe, there is an information window? Some people might think, meh, but not ticket-holding TED Talk people. <laughs> yeah, you know you are. You're probably thinking, I saw a TED Talk about traveling through the universe with my mind, I've got this, and reaching through in a slow motion dash, not even winded by mental exertion, you reach that information window. Look the clerk in the eye and say, how you doing? <laughs> I'm here for information. So the clerk says, congratulations. You are a designer of planet Earth. Here is your control panel orientation. Don't break the control panel. This is your control button. These meters are your synergy system gauges. And at this point, I must inform you that this conversation is recorded for quality assurance purposes <laughs> and permanent record. You are officially informed that if any single one of these gauges red lines, you're fired. Questions? Oh yeah, we got questions. Like, what do you mean fired? Clerk says, I mean like the planet becomes a ball of fire, fire, good luck. <laughs> Any moment now a question should explode from your brain, something like, excuse me, but there is only one button on this panel. Clerk says, yeah, it's an entanglement system with a divinium processor. Everything is fractally exponentially, immeasurably, infinitely connected, so you only need one button. Okay? Bye-bye, shunk. <laughs> well, you have been given a lot of information, and this is the point where we should sum it up. One, everything we do is pushing one button that is connected to everything. We are all designers of Earth pushing one button. People do things. We all do things. Two, the control panel is sensitive, volatile even, ball of fire. Not a happy place to live. Three, we all have a home. This planet Earth is our home. We are working really hard on being homeless. Yes, we are. We are not homeless yet. Nobody on this planet is homeless. So as a fellow designer of planet Earth, I would like to share with you a concept design inspired by our friend at the information window. We will tour this design by considering the control panel one gauge at a time. So let's begin our tour of Address 180, the Central Oregon Hospitality Project. And by hospitality, I mean the kind of hospitality our planet offers us. Things the moon and Mars don't have. Atmosphere, water, food. These are the origins of hospitality, which become the resources people use to perpetuate hospitality, creating ambiance. Entertainment, fine dining. Origin is resource, resource is origin. Gauge one on our control panel. At address 180, it looks like this. A central component of the design is creating on-site resources of food and water. The sweeping curve of that exterior garden element houses a stratum of water filtration mediums which act as our second stage gray water filter and also collect rainwater from on-site and off-site donations. 
People can donate rainwater or the cold water that goes down the drain before every shower to the garden. The donation station is at the property entrance, and traveling up into the main garden, we will find a dedicated address for our pollinators, the hardworking honeybee and the endangered rusty patch bumblebee. Traveling up into our garden at the apex of this incline is our hydroponic garden. And greenhouses of this nature can produce a large variety of foods, and in general, seven pounds of produce per square foot. The towers are designed to slowly rotate, maximizing sun exposure on these plants, and the organic food produced is the highlight of our diverse farm-to-fork dining opportunities below. Ripple Effect offers hosted leisurely cuisine, and Reciprocate Cafe offers quick, healthy, grab-and-go meals. Balance is diversity, diversity is balance. The diversity of give and take when separated into two opposing sides become bottomless pits of need and greed. But when give and take are united, there is a balance born of diversity. And this balance is a place of entanglement, a reciprocal synergy. And this synergy can flow through many things in multifunctional ways. It is also the inspiration for shapes and forms in this design. Space is system, system is space. There is a space called the economic gap, and it is a system of have and have not. I am talking about the fly by the seat of your pants, thick and thin, paycheck to paycheck, who knows whom, tourism-based economy that creates our expensive housing market, minimum wage jobs, and the popular expression, poverty with a view. That economic gap. What if that gap could become a structure about resources for people from both sides, one multifunction location? Let's take a look at our structure. At the main entrance, we'll find our seedling house, outdoor stage, local farmer's market, and shops. On the east side, the first level of this building primarily hosts operational services, which coordinate with community organizations like commerce, tourism, government, education, and charity foundations to develop service strategies. The second level of our east and north sides are accommodations. The green barrel roof to the left is cold cellar storage for produce on this cooler north end of the building. And as we come around to the right, we have our kennels. On the west side of the building, the three garage bay doors are the tiny house workshop. The green dome is our butterfly biome in the children's park, which brings us back to that main garden on the sunny south side. Ecology is economy, economy is ecology. The resources created by our garden and gray water system are both functional and an aesthetic part of the view from the sun deck above our main entrance, which leads to the information station, and to the right, our resource ambassadors, who function like a concierge service for anyone visiting. This is the connection to resources, activities, and amenities happening both on site and within our Central Oregon community. Spotlight Gallery monthly honors local artists. Additionally, the wall space throughout this property could curate the largest community gallery space in Central Oregon. Our waterfall features oxygenate the water ecosystem, purify the air, and produce healthy negative ions. Water is a thermal stabilizer and amplifies our natural lighting. The central water feature acts as a reservoir and view aquarium. The aquarium life is a very important part of our gray water reclaim system. The fish create nitrogen-rich water, which naturally fertilize garden plants, so the result Delicious, nutritious meals served at Ripple Effect to the east and Reciprocate Cafe to the west. Next to the cafe, we'll find Think Lab. Here, the community has access to computers, office equipment, technology classes, business, and employment advice. 
Our open seating spaces include comfy sofas and chairs for relaxed lounging. And our unique spiral table configurations use direct contact radiant heating and cooling, which is more efficient than forced air in these large open spaces. And inside of Ripple Effect is the one drop, where you can explore our hopping in local Zymergy culture. Energized Fitness converts exercise into electrical watts. Redo Salon offers plant-based beauty treatments. And as we continue to view some of the other amenities, please keep in mind how our ecological resources of food and water become amenities. Amenities that become an economy. An economy that generates fiscal revenue through the reciprocity of community interaction. An economy that showcases the wonders of nature while creating activities to enjoy and jobs. Long-term jobs, short-term jobs, shared, flexible, part-time, and even on-demand gig economy like Lyft or DoorDash. Jobs that fill gaps between surprise expenses, random school schedules, independent contract work, or even a sudden reduction in your regular hours because here, you can work and play in a dynamic location meeting new people every day. Address is culture, culture is address. Where we live, work, and play is Central Oregon, our lifestyle of the things we do, how we do them. Most importantly, the people we do them with, who we do things with. Everything that we do at this location defines our culture. And this location is an address in more ways than one. On the second level, our culture of community provides secure accommodations for families between address. Nobody on this planet is homeless. Please, no more painful labels that imply someone isn't on the same planet we all call home and less than equal. We simply have families between address, FBA, and our FBA accommodations on the second floor can host as many as 41 families. Children and parents in need of emergency transitional accommodations that offer a positive, interactive, friendly, community-inspired experience because community is family, family is community. The buzz of community activity all around is a comforting reminder that this community cares and is there to lift up those in need around them, hope and understanding rather than the social exile experience of a stereotypical shelter. Here, we are all just families, doing what families do with a community. We support each other. We create new ways to make economic ends meet. Everything growing, flowing, and happening at Address 180, every activity or purchase is a tax-deductible charitable contribution. You can write off what you spend sipping a smoothie, soaking in a facial. You can do laundry at a place where the water is going to go back to the garden, your kids can play, and stinky dog can get a bath because everything helps us help each other, which again helps us, a sustainable community assistance model, kinetic give and take, a balance that is born of diversity. This project is a third of my master's portfolio. And at the time of thesis, the 12.7 acre original Walmart by the airport in Redmond had been vacant for seven years and was bank owned. Using building information modeling, I had 15 weeks to design and render 223, no, 223,479 200, square feet. Didn't sleep much. <laughs> Didn't want to because 
In my research, I learned that 42% of the between address demographic here in Central Oregon is children, not parents and children. 42% just children. So I study shelters, connected with people, families. They wanted to help, but first they helped me. They taught me hope born of diversity. Single mom, two jobs, two amazing kids. She told me, no place you can create feels like a home when you don't have one. If you can create a place that doesn't make you feel worse, where people won't judge and look down, I don't know what it looks like, but I would know it if I felt it. Address 180 is a look at it for what it could be, a diverse, sustainable hospitality project for everyone in our community and even those just touristing. So the only question left is can we all feel it? The reciprocity of connection, our one button. You can connect here. As our friend would say, this is your control button. And any moment now, a thought should explode from your brain. Something like, we can create an address of 180 because 180 is a personal waypoint. It is a subjective point of view. It's you in the middle of diversity, the vastness connecting us. Origin is resource. We are the origin, that first step. The second step is balanced and the simplest exchange of please and thank you. Thank you.